It's hanging on to the city! That black thing. That's what we saw on the sands of Kogor. That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Be careful. It looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? This thing looks pretty mean. Come on! could spawn such a disgusting monster. Oh. The illusion Pharaoh showed us. He was trying to make us feel the power of the Autophagos. But it's no illusion this time. Oh man, are hordes of these things just gonna attack everything? <laughs> Ow! Ow! Hey, no fighting! It's all right, Repeat. He's just a little nervous, that's all. And what's wrong with being a little nervous? I'm not gonna run away or anything, I swear. <laughs> Nats was really working hard. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a good job leading since Belly has passed away. I'd like him to meet Undine. He'd be so happy. Not right now. Once everything's settled down, though, let's give him a nice surprise. Okay. That monster. Paul Australia was no match for it. I can't figure it out. So how did we take it out? Maybe there's something different about us. The spirits, perhaps? If the Autophagos really is close to air, then the spirits might actually affect it. So can we put up more of a fight if we get the other three? Who knows? The four elements alone could control air, but we're talking about the Autophagos. I just don't know. Yeah, and it's not like you can find Apatheia lying around just anywhere. There aren't many Entelakea left either. Hey, there are tons of Blasty all over the world, right? Yes. They're an indispensable part of our society. And cores are just pieces of Apatheia. So if the four spirits aren't enough, we can just change all the cores of the world into spirits too, right? Are you nuts? How do you propose to do that? Even if we knew how, we'd still have to go to every single Blastia. I doubt the Autophagos would wait for us. I think that's your specialty, genius. Oh no, this is your genius plan. Even if Yuri's plan worked, all the Blastia would stop working, wouldn't they? Yeah, I guess so. All the cores would be gone. What would the world become? People would lose the safety promised by the barriers. All the functions that the Blastia maintained. Gone. It'll be inconvenient, to say the least. Even Bodhi Blastia wouldn't work. <sighs> There'll be a lot of unhappy people, but we have to do it. That thing will destroy the world. I think we should do it, even if no one other than us understands. Well, for now, let's just get the four elemental spirits. Once we do that, then we can think about what to do next. Yeah. Baul knows where the other Entelikea are, right? Yeah. Let's get back to the ship and ask him. The shining forest of Area Lumen and the root of the world. I've never heard of those places. <sighs> Baul says he knows. However, hmm. he doesn't want to tell us. Apatheas only come from the death of Entelikea. He doesn't want to put his friends in danger. Baul, listen. We want to protect the world, but we don't want to sacrifice anyone for it. We won't just take the Apatheia by force. Baul, please. Tell us where the Entelikea are. Lumen 
is in the northeast part of Torbikia. Reloise is on the continent of Wakea. Thank you, Bowl. We also need to go to the sands of Kogor, where Pharaoh is. Right. Northeast Tolbikia. I wonder if that's the place where a new land just recently crystallized. Wakea is that continent to the south of Ilikia, where the capital is, right? Wakea? The Emperor Calx III sent scouting parties four times in order to claim the land, but every time they lost communication and no one ever returned. It's the last unexplored land on Terkalumares. Why does it have to be a place like that? If Wakea is that bad, then let's leave Reloise for last. He says he'll leave things up to you. Thanks, Baru. He's hurt! Why is he flying? Any idiot could come along and take him out. He couldn't put up a fight like this. It's probably so humans won't get his apatheia. Pharaoh! Hey, he's landing! I it looks like he's calling us. Let's go. It was all for us. What do you mean? Pharaoh was a decoy for us at Zaude. The fate of the world is set. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry, but things aren't over yet. Zaude is lost. The Adafagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? There's still hope. There's a new power. We would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your apatheia. You ask me to hand over my life. <sighs> your heart alone cannot save the world. But you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. Do with me as you please. What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. Can you really do that? Undine is telling me that. Okay. It worked! Hey, 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 hey! Hot, hot, hot! The Spirit of Fire. Unlimited power. It's been a long time, hasn't it, my leader? I congratulate you on your conversion. Such consideration, Bellius. So you too have. I have now called Undine, the ruler of the waters. I have changed form, so I too require a new name. You, who have reincarnated me. Give me a name. The fearsome fiery fireball king! Such a powerful, terrible fire. The blazing one, Efreet. I am now connected strongly to the world. And all seems new again. Even this wasteland is filled with power. <laughs> Wonderful! Hey! He flew away! Fear not. We are bound to you. Wherever you go, we are with you. The Intelikea and the Child of the Full Moon bear spirits. Nature's providence is great. 
great indeed. Man, they are so different before and after becoming spirits. They have totally different points of view. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world. You know, we're up to our eyeballs in problems. Saving the world sure keeps a guy busy. Well, the problems we're dealing with are a lot bigger than they used to be. What? Why is everybody looking at me? I got something on my face? Problems like you, Yuri. A lot. I hear that. Fate is definitely out to get you. <laughs> After everything that's happened, I'm starting to wonder myself. But hey, I've done a pretty good job of getting us out of whatever mess we're in, right? You gotta at least give me some credit there. See, for Yuri, the end of the world's just one more problem that needs solving. Maybe that attitude's what's kept us seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Gotta love the power of positive thinking. This world is changing. What's wrong, Judith? One wrong choice could have led to far greater destruction, but instead the spirits were born. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices for change to occur. The spirits are proof of that. Maybe their current form shows the future the Intelikea hope to create. Yes, I think you might be right. One day, Baul might also face the decision of becoming a spirit. If the spirits represent evolution for the Intelikea, then... Well, lucky Pharaoh decided to help us out. He's a little extreme, but there's no doubt he cares for this world, just like Judy said. I've been hard on him in the past. But he has helped us out all this time. We must defeat the Autophagos and save the world for Pharaoh and his love of the world. Ah, no cheesy lines. Yeah, come on. Honestly, you two should learn to show your feelings. And this looks like the center of the crystallization. It's beautiful, like we're in a dream. It's air that crystallized at low density. Is this mana? I have to take a sample. Just how do they come up with such different reactions? They just shatter! <laughs> this is fun! You're so stupid. Nature didn't make this, you know. Huh? What do you mean? The center of a new land that just crystallized. Somewhere around here is the one who made that happen. And an air crane. What's up, Repeat? Find something? This is... Someone crushed these crystals. And it wasn't us. Looks like someone got here before us. Watch out. That weapon! Nan! I warn you, the hunting blades are currently patrolling the area. Leave it! Nan! These wounds are terrible. Come on, man! Carol, what are you doing alone? Where's the boss and Tyson? Master and the others went on. Uh, what? They left you behind? The boss is one thing, but I can't believe Tyson wouldn't take you. What happened? We wound up fighting our target here. I... I couldn't do anything. Just like always. Master said it's because I had doubts. Doubts? I hate monsters. They shouldn't be alive. I still feel that way. But now, at a time like this, hunting monsters isn't that important. There are other things we should be doing. When I told him that... They up and left you. Fools. With everything the way it is, how can they not take another look at their lives? That's terrible! I mean, Nan's right! Relax, Carol. Hey, the hunting blades are after Entelikea, right? We should hurry. Yeah. Nan, can you walk? Huh? Yeah, but it's too dangerous to be alone here. Come with us, Nan. Carol, okay. Gusios! That's Gusios? So the hunting blades have a history with them. Judith, wait! Something's wrong! Master! Why? Why won't any 
anything hurt it! It's eating the air, but this is... Man, it's too dangerous! Nan, what are you doing here? You don't know what you're doing! I told you, you'd just get in the way! Run! There's nothing you can do here! No! The guild is my family! I can't just leave you to die! Damn it! Man! You! Gusios, calm down! Tell me what happened! to him. It doesn't look like he's in the mood for talking. Even Intellikea cannot ingest limitless amounts of air. Those who ingest more than they can endure change and... No! Become Artifagos themselves. What? So he got like this by trying to protect the world? Gusios. Save him. While he is still Gusios. Right. Okay. I guess this is how it has to be. I can't believe we have to... kill him. If there's no other way, then... then we'll do it. There's no way to save him if he becomes an Autophagos. You're right. I just hope this saves him. It's all we can do. Finish that one! I'm sorry. What? He's gone. Now you want to hate this too? That's the soul of that monster. I've got to crush it. He's not a monster. They were trying to protect the world. I don't care what the Antilochia were for. You knew. All this time, you knew what the Antilochia were. You knew and you still hunted them? With the world like it is? Ten years ago. The Antilochia killed my family, and it's not just me. Most of the hunting blades have lost something important to monsters. No matter what happens to the world, my feelings for these things will never change. But you're wrong. What? No matter what you do, you can't bring anyone back. You aren't the only ones who lost loved ones in the war. But some try to be positive and keep living. I think it's admirable to protect a city from monsters, but... Don't just be pig-headed about it. Do it when the world is, you know, okay. It's too late for me to change. Huh. If you're gonna get in our way, then we'll settle things here. Chief. <sighs> Please wait. Let me at least heal you. Get up, you maggots! We're withdrawing! Thank you. I wonder if he understood. Who knows? So let's make a spirit. Believe Entelikea, who try to control air, wind up as Autophagos. <laughs> People can't understand anything except what they see with their own eyes. So after all that happened, turns out the worst thing in the world is people.
Which means we have to work that much harder. Yeah, you're right. So his family was killed by the Intellikea. Clint, was it? The grudge he's got against them won't fade anytime soon. Maybe he has his reasons. But I think just hunting monsters has been his purpose for a while. I was like him once. I only lived to destroy Blastia. Then maybe he can still change, like you did, Judith. I don't know. Either way, we've got our own goals to worry about. Right, Carol? 